Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We are back to daily vlogging back in Chicago. So if you like this video, we hope that you'll return tomorrow. It is early Saturday morning. We are headed out to the suburbs to see Violet's very first softball game. Because it is Violet's very first game, her opening day. They're playing at this big old field. So it's kind of like a Cubs game, but with more freedom. But this will be us the whole game. <laughs> okay, now we've made our way back here. Luca followed us this time. I think concessions opened up. Do you want to get a snack from the concession? Apparently we've got screwdrivers and mimosas too. That's a good way to start your Saturday morning if you ask me. Yeah. It is cold. Okay, so we're not gonna go to concession right away. First of all, because I thought it was that one, but it's not. It's the one on the other side, in the right field. And we found this playground that's part of the field. So clearly, this is where we're going. Once Luca and James saw it, it was a non-negotiable. Gotta give it for these kids wanting to play up here because it's windy and like 35. Oi. I'm ready for this to be over. <laughs> you love the slide? Luke is just making noise up there. Seems he's falling in love with slides. <laughs> Guys are playing trolls music over there. Concessions are open, we can go get food. I don't know how I'm gonna bribe these two kids to leave the play area. Oh geez. We had a little change of plans for our day. So Jamesy's had a bit of a runny nose and we were hoping it was like just a fluke of a moment but just as the day went on we're like his nose is too runny to be here with the kids playing with their toys so we decided to leave Christina's and we're gonna see our family does have allergies so we're gonna see if potentially it's allergies um, have him try some medicine but if that doesn't work, then our Easter plans might be changed. But as of right now, like he's not showing signs of like not feeling well. It's just like you can't ignore snot running out of his nose. But while James and I were at Christina's, Peter got a lot of our baby stuff out of storage. And so we're gonna put it all that together soon, getting that organized. Um, we got five weeks left to go until my due date. So we really gotta get to getting on that. Bag a hospital bag, all that fun stuff. Don't let the blue sky and green grass fool ya. Ooh, Peter's making it even more gorgeous. It's 42 degrees out. It's not terrible in the sun, but it looks a lot nicer. <laughs> all right, we got a beautiful skyline over here. We got the lake. We got some geese out. There's actually, we saw like two or three boats out in Belmont Harbor, which I think is a little early for that, but I love to see it because it means that it's, means it's warming up. I know that's all really good stuff you're saying, but you're still supposed to nap. I know, I understand. Well, you still need to take a nap, sweetie. This has been the last, like, hour. Oh, yeah? Really? You think so? Where did Jamesy go? You down there? Where'd James go? Uh, there he is. <gasps> Jamesy, where'd you go? <gasps> there he is. 
Where'd my Jamesy go? Oh no, I miss him. <gasps> Where'd you go? There you are. What the heck is going on in here? You gave up on nap time. Yeah. Get a rest. Kind of restful. Kind of. What did you find, Jamesy? <gasps> Bottle? Treasure? We're going for the maybe James will fall asleep in the stroller game. Because I have to go to Jewel to grab the eggs to die because I left the ones we got out yesterday out all night. Alrighty, we are having Ronies for dinner tonight. <laughs> You're sitting in the baby chair? You're a big kid. So I'll admit, this sauce was not made over hours and hours like we typically would Easter weekend. So why it feels even extra blasphemous <laughs> that, um, that we just use sauce from a jar, but I don't think we actually talked about it yet. We had decided that we were gonna have a really low key Easter this year. Easter is like my mom. Like she would be so ready for winter to be done and, and Easter gave her so much hope and she hosted Easter for our whole family and would just cook and do everything. Um, to make it extremely special and so we just decided that we're very tired and we just didn't have it in us to recreate everything that she did um, so we decided we're still gonna you know like color eggs and make it a special day just not like how would you wear that just not as much labor going into it yeah we're still just, gonna do a bunch of stuff Sue would do we're just not doing everything Right, we're not doing everything, we're not going like all out, we're just going to be together and celebrate. And I mean, James Z does have this ready nose, so we'll see if it'll just be us or if it'll, or if we will see more people, but that is our weekend plan, is to just keep it simple. Is this a distant memory? You guys remember this? Mm -hmm. You guys remember that? Mm -hmm. You guys remember this? Uh -huh. now, we officially threw away the box that like all the accessories came in. Because before we were like, oh, we'll have that for James. And we'll swap it out with this seat when it gets bigger. And then we'll store everything. Well now, You're gonna need a bunch to. of blue donkeys and it really gets to live up to its name. And then we'll have this and the seat next to each other side by side. In just Easy. weeks. Weeks, my friends. Are you ready? I told Sarah, like, what do we say? How do we say it earlier? And I was like, you could go on like right now. I know. I've been feeling, feeling it. We'll see. Who knows how it'll go this time around. Hopefully better than last time. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what happens, I just hope it's better. If it's not better. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we got problems. Overall, I'm confident it will be better because I can just tell by the like the quality of care that I've received this time around that it will be. Where'd he go? Ready? Oh no. It's scary. <laughs> Where is he? He's not in the bathroom. All right, we've boiled, hard boiled seven eggs. We're going to use these, this thing, this deluxe egg dining kit, but we're only gonna do four. My idea is, my idea is we mix some of the colors to make them brighter. Peter said, okay, art student. I'm just, just trying to experiment. What are you guys doing? We're looking for this to put it away, but then we're looking for our Easter parade vinyl. Yeah. I just said to Peter, I truly don't think we've ever done this without my mom. So he's like, how much vinegar do we put in? I truly don't know. We have either been vegan or Easter is like always been a tough holiday because it's like very, very kid centric. So like if we did it at my mom's, that would be fine. But like on our own when we lived in Florida, you want to come up? We didn't die eggs. Like we just didn't like, it just was one of those things that we didn't do when we didn't have kids. Uh oh. Got some, some records on. We got some. We got some egg dyes. Vinegar going. Vinegar cooking away. James is eating the egg holder, okay. dipper. So I put two tablets in each. Oh, just to get crazy? Yeah. Art student. Be bold. I missed it on the blog, but Sarah already put James's name on the egg with the crayon, which is key. What color do you want? Can you point to what one you want? Blue? No, it's too blue. All blue. All blue. For, Salad. For the James, the James. Ooh. They let it sit. Okay. Put Mom. Can you put this in the orange? Can you put it in here? Put it in here. Put it in. Look. Ooh. Yay. Drink. Not for drinking. This is for dying. Look at that. I think it more so like marbled the colors compared to like making them bold. Here are six little eggs, and um, this is actually my basket, like my childhood Easter basket. I mean, beyond childhood too. But this was where they're gonna live. Overnight, Peter's gonna make deviled eggs with them in the morning. It's late. It's midnight. Um, James went down easy. They woke up a little bit later, and I went back in, and he's back asleep. Um, we were just kind of spent the rest of the night cleaning up a little bit, getting ready for Easter tomorrow, um, and then just kind of relaxing. So we're gonna go to bed. And get up tomorrow and we'll see how James's snotty nose is to see if we think it's more allergy derived or not to kind of decide what the day holds to see if we're going to be traveling anywhere or if we're just going to be staying home but it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions <laughs>